Dennis Eckersley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. the top of the ninth, Gary Sanchez. And they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit back up the middle. Lindor takes it in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Nelson Cruz will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Low for ball one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. home. Was offered at and missed for the first strike. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Sharply hit ball back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time. Time call here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. The second for one. On to first. Not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top's player of the game. Yeah, it was a real good performance, as you'll see by his final line. Seven and two-thirds good innings, and in today's game, that's very solid.